Hey everybody, my name is Forever2 and welcome back to Honkai Star Rail for a new continuity story. Now, it's been a couple of days since it came out on Halloween, I believe. Or at least Halloween night, or days before Halloween. Now, I was stuck on trying to do... Um, trying to catch up on everything. Which I ended up missing the most important rewards in the perma event of the War Dance. The Luminary War Dance. So I'm going to be taking a break from trying to do the War Dance story. And I'm going to be moving on to a different one. Welcome everyone to Banana Outrage Battles Without Ninja and Humanity. Also known as... Honkai Star Road 2.5 or 2.6. I forgot the, the version number, okay? I forgot. But basically, we are going back to Panacone because I guess we the nameless were invited. Now, laughter, song, and dance linger all day. And by twilight, we sleep and do not wake. This dream world is like an old banana peel covered in dark stains. How intolerable. Seek the true path and extinguish this Malpo age of the Dharma. So I'm here at the Express about to accept this invitation and yes this will be a long story as well all right ah oh, you're finally here we've been waiting for so long how long has it been only about a few months it's only been five minutes five minutes it's it's been two th four, f f three months for me <laughs> since everyone's here Let's get down to business. The Astral Express just received an invitation to the Planet of Festivities. Back to Panacone again. I wonder how much has changed. Uh, hang on. Why am I getting a sense of deja vu? <laughs> Is it going to be a repeat of the Charming Festival? Are we going to take a look for the Watchmaker's Legacy again? Are we still in a dream? <laughs> I don't think he had that many legacies to leave behind. I love Marge. I don't know why. Don't worry. The Express received a normal invitation this time. It's from Fenacone's Paperfold University. I feel like we're going to go to a new location. Yeah. I mean, there are a few locations named in Panacone, and we have yet to explore some of them. The university plans to hold an academic conference on the topic of trailblazing in the moment of Seoul. The Astral Express has been invited as guest to the conference. An academic conference? You mean we'll have to sit in an auditorium and spend several system hours talking about a few hundred slides worth of scholarly discourse? <laughs> well, March, that's education for you. That's school. That's college. Don't worry. You can leave such boring events to the grown-ups. I will attend the conference with Welt. As for the three of you... School time? If you're interested, you can enter the university as guest students. Are we exchange students? Guest students? Well, it happens to be the start of the academic term, and Paperfold University is preparing for its Dreamlight anniversary. These annual festivities serve as both a welcoming gift for new students and a chance to celebrate for those already enrolled. Why don't you youngsters join the new students? Hmm? You could uh, explore the campus, uh, experience student life. Uh, do, do we have to study? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm trying not to laugh as loud as I can. That actually got me almost choked on my, my soda. <clears throat> and that hurts. <clears throat> uh, I love March. I don't know why she's so stupid. <laughs> uh, mm, I'm going to chuckle a lot because that question got me. Do we have to study? I mean, it's a school. It's academics. So, yeah. I don't know. Uh, that's great. A young, cute girl full of energy living her best life on campus? That experience is practically made for me. Oh, yeah. I bet she can't wait to experience the school life memories. I hear that Paperfold University is well known throughout the universe as a top art school. <clears throat> I would love to check it out, too. Do you want to animate, Dong Hong? Are you looking forward to create something, Dong Hong? Campus life, here I come. Awesome. I'll finally have some academic credentials. Help! I don't want to go to school. <laughs> Campus life, here I come. <sighs> Campus life. 
Looks like everyone can't wait. Let's go ahead with that plan then. I will submit the admission documents to Paperfold University. We'll leave once everyone is ready. Let's all have some fun. Indeed, we will. All right, let's talk to the fellow crewmates, which is March. <sighs> Electives, oh, extracurricular activities, campus parties. <clears throat> oh, I want to try them all. Especially campus parties. All right, take me along. It might not be as fun as you're imagining. Actually, I've never been to school before. That's sad, but true. Of course. We're schoolmates now. Yay, we're BFFs. For reals. In school. Uh, never mind. Let's just relax and enjoy ourselves on campus. I'll be in your care now. Okay. Aw. Alright, where is Dong Fong? I mean, Dong Hong. As the top university in Penacony, the strict examinations and expensive tuition have deterred many potential candidates. The people who are admitted to the school are either well-known wealthy merchants or exceptionally talented geniuses. So you're gonna have extreme talents above average talent as well as being extremely wealthy. Be a rich kid. Well, that sucks. Because of this, I hear that the culture on campus has a truly Penaconian flavor. <laughs> How intriguing. That sounds confusing to me. Alright, do I have to speak with you guys? Campus. <laughs> oh, that word sure brings back a lot of memories. You know, guys, I never had a campus life. I mean, I sure I went to college, but I never went to a dorms. I never owned a dorm. Or never booked one. Or gone to a natural college. Well, technically, it was a community college I went to. But not a real college where there's dormitories, frat parties, and all that stuff. That's what I was envisioning, but reality is cruel. Now that you mention it, I recall that you had a teaching stint back home. Any delightful stories that come to mind? <laughs> yeah, too many to count. Uh, but then again, these admission documents will take us a while to complete. I'll see if I can dig up any stories for you. Good, we need more stories from wise old Welt. Near immortality. A comfy couch that makes you drowsy as soon as you lie down on it. Let's just hope this trip doesn't send you into another strange dream. <laughs> Let's go. On our way to Panacone, you surprisingly dozed off. Am I going to be thrown into the tub bed again? Oh, no, no, no. What? What is that ruckus? Yeah. I Sounds like banana. There it is again. The strange sounds lingered by your ears, your, but your drowsiness overcame the noise, and your eyelids remained unmoved. We've arrived! Why do you always fall asleep when we're warping? I couldn't even wake you up. Hey, a girl needs to sleep. Hey, a man and a girl needs to sleep. We've been through a lot. We fought werewolves, space wolves, for fuck's sake. We need that sleep. I mean, I'm tired, not enough sleep, so that ruckus was you? Uh, what do you mean I fell asleep? Oh, what do you mean ruckus? I was really <laughs> gentle when trying to wake you up. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go check in. I love how these two had a, had a, a couple dynamic, to be honest. Hideko and Mr. Yang still have to participate in social networking. Being an adult sure is hard. I'm sure it is. Alright, let's talk to... Uh, wait, so here's my question. Why is the quest called the Andalusian Monkey? Welcome to the Reverie, distinguished shareholders. Hey, it's nice to hear from you. Oh, I almost forgot that we're Penacony shareholders. I guess that marks off what we are qualified to get into school. Upon hearing the news that you were returning to Penacony, the hotel prepared six platinum guest rooms for your stay. What? They are ready for you anytime. We got highest ranking guest rooms, guys. We got the highest treatment. Um, six? Uh, us three. Here we go, and, um, uh, Welt. Can it be Paimon's coming to step, coming to visit? That's right. Besides the three of you, Miss Himiko and Mr. Yang, Pom Pom had already checked in three days ago. 
I guessed it. Pom Pom checked in. Pom Pom. Pom Pom? What are you talking about? Wait a minute. Oh, I completely forgot. <laughs> Don't tell me Boot Hill's here. I see. <laughs> we <laughs> thank the family for their gracious hospitality. Please help us with the check-in. Hey, Mr. Dong Fong Fool here. <laughs> Dong Hong, the fool, knows it. <laughs> he still knows it and remembers it. Of course. Your dreamscape passes have been activated. I hope that you have another enjoyable stay in Panacone. I uh, wouldn't be enjoyed if only you actually came to be uh, room service to wake me up a bit. We didn't have an enjoyable stay the last time, though. Oh, yeah, it was just a bad case of horrifying memes to being pulled in by death itself into an unknown dream, hidden dream. <clears throat> Lots of topsy turvy mind screw ups here. Mind fuck. Mind. Boggling things happening. A dream within a dream and fighting a remnant of the order. Ah, yeah. Then we fought, fought Gamba Bullshitter. I mean, um, adventuring. <laughs> that was a hell of a time. Um, apologies for interrupting you earlier. Uh, Don Hung, do you know something that we don't? Why did the front desk mention that Pom Pom is staying at the hotel too? Because Dong Hung was involved in the shenanigan of one Booty Hill. If my guess is correct, it's probably Boot Hill checking in under Pom Pom's name. Because he was trying to go undercover, because no one wants to know a Galaxy Ranger showed up out of nowhere. Wait, Boot Hill? That Galaxy Ranger? You mean, oh, Mr. Holy Forkaroni! <laughs> yes. When we worked together in Penacone the last time, he used Pom Pom's identity then, too. Wow. <sighs> He's the only one I can think of who would do that. Because you allowed him to. Plus, it's funny how him being uh, wanted by the IPC, now we can add identity theft onto his many list of things that IPC branded him for the bounty. Boot Hill? What is he doing here? I don't know. Galaxy Rangers always work alone, but I don't think Boot Hill will do anything that is uh, detrimental to the Express. I fear that we may be in going to be involved in some other shenanigans that will mess up our perception of things. Since Pom Pom checked in three days ago, <laughs> we can probably find him in the dream. We'll ask him more about it then. Uh, let's get going then. A Paperfold University is located in the Moment of Soul. The hotel has set the entrance to the dream near the school. So let's meet at the gates. I'm staying in the same room as the last time I was here. <sighs> time to enter the dream. What? There are new suits around here. Oh, looks like we got a bunch of guards out here, huh? Hurry what? up! I hear that the major shareholders have already arrived at the lobby. Don't alarm them! Are you trying to rob my room, you... you mutt? I know! But that fellow was running in this direction! Oh, how did he disappear so quickly? Or not. Ooh. Shh! Someone else is here! Who are you? Who am I? I'm one of the- I'm the superstar, uh, from the festi Festivity fa Auditions. The what auditions? Sorry, I usually just relax in my free time and never watch variety shows. I don't care who you are. The Bloodhound family is investigating a case here. Please make way. Uh, wait a second. Gray hair, yellow eyes, ribbons that serve no purpose on her clothes. I think she's the major shareholder you were talking about. That's right, you better recognize. What? For the love of... Couldn't you have said that earlier? Nah, you told him to shut up. That's your own fault right there. <clears throat> I beg your pardon, esteemed guest. I was a bit brusque earlier. The Bloodhounds are just carrying out a routine inspection. All guest rooms and facilities are in good order. So please, be at ease and enjoy your stay. Now I'm worried what you were saying. Someone ran into my room. Somewhere, huh? But... 
The suspect. Who? Suspect. You. S sustainable. Ah, uh, yes, sustainable. We know frequent inspections may not seem sustainable to some, but these procedures ensure a safe and secure environment for guests, so the Bloodhounds are more than happy to do so. We'll take our leave for now. Please have a good rest. Now you're making me suspect you two because you're making me sus. Um, please stay safe and be careful in the dream. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's go. Now hmm. I'm more anxious. I'm confused. Maybe I should look around before I enter the dream? Yeah. Let's investigate the treasure chest. Wait, I've gotten this when I first came here. This treasure appears to be different from the one you previously, previously encountered. Faced with your passion, it is unwilling to open up its heart, but choosing to fetter itself further. Open with violence, watch closely, or roll DX1. <laughs> violence. You yell out something about trailblazing justice and courage, channeling with all your strength into your arms and attempt to make it open crevice, uh, representing hope and fortune for you. But it is useless. Its lid does not move an inch, like it was designed to never be opened. This reminds you of those unopenable doors along Panacone streets. Alright, can I try it? Let's roll the DX once. Let's want to try it. You try using your dexterity to pry it open, but this isn't a simulated universe. There are no dice. You also don't have any lockpicking tools available, nor are your hands reliably nimble. The roll ends in critical failure. <laughs> in critical failure. Alright, option two. You scrutinize the chest in front of you, but don't notice any encrypted interfaces, hidden text, or item submission slots. It looks like it definitely can be opened. Well, I guess this is decoration. But, wait. What did that get here? Oh well. Let's investigate the table. Eh? Hold on, my game is crashing. There are several bizarre monkeys drawn on the film's reel over the table. The title reads, Remastered. Top 10 Slumber Nana Monkey Classic Shots. It even has a limited edition serial number labeled on it in the embossed gold lettering. This appears to be a present prepared to, for you by the Reverie, a most considerate gesture. It would have been even more thoughtful if there were, were a projector of, in the room. There's nothing here to play the reel. Like, why give me a film reel if there's no TV or no f uh, projector? But this has gotten me curious. A strange monkey doll. You don't notice a strange monkey doll in the room. Judging from the materials, you can see the doll's craftsmanship is exquisite, but its visual design begs to differ. This sly look and eyes brimming with wit. Do people really like characters like this? Ignore it, talk to it, or punch it. Let's ignore it. You decide to ignore this monkey like you would ignore it and its significant pebble. A stray wind blown leaf or a roadside trash can. Hang on, you've never ignored a trash can. It's true, I never do. I always search for this. <laughs> what what does that say? It silently sits in the middle of the room, mute and stoic, looking at its dumb face, a voice inexplicably reaches your ears. But nah. Okay, so I got no, no choice. Um, any other I items in here, like the fireplace? Thermostats. Wait, there's a note. I see it. You have never found words to be so foreign as they are now. Even the syn synesthesia beacon can't help you translate this gibberish. If it weren't a work of the Riddlers, one would wonder whether the writer was irredeemably deemably mentally disturbed. I can't open the box. Something just doesn't feel right. I believe you, Stel. I believe you mm. like... I believe but I can't you. keep March 7th and Don Hung waiting. Never mind. I'll head to sleep for now. Right. It's time to dream, but I'm not sure what kind of dream I'm going to be having today. What the? What the? Oh. Well, this place sure is sealed off. Rapper. <laughs> no other way. I have 
Uh -oh. Oh, your bed. <sighs> oh my. Please forgive me. Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> I'm a bit speechless. Focus on your breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Imagine an island. I never heard this before when I first entered the dream. An island. 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 Are you broken? <laughs> what the? What the fuck was that? Uh, did I just see something strange? I definitely saw it and heard it through my ears. What the fuck was that? I felt like my brain rotted just now. <laughs> mm. What in the brain rot is this? Is this Paperfold uh, University? It doesn't look much like a school, but it does look somewhat familiar. It's because I think we just got jacked. Uh, brain jacked. What's going on? Also, what's that? What the heck? Oh god. It, it, it's begun. The great ape escape is here. Oh wait, just kidding. Uh, I, I, don't know, I don't know why. When I saw the promo of the game, of the, of the continuitist uh, thing, uh, my mind just immediately went to this old game uh, that was in PlayStation 2 or PlayStation... Yeah, PlayStation 2. Uh, ape escape, if I can remember right. If any of you guys know that game, you know it's going to be hell uh, dealing with these monkeys. I mean, even now, I'm dealing with that. So investigate the bizarre monkey... But nah. Banana. 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 There are monkeys in Panagoni? Is this really Paperfold University? Where did the dream pool send me? Banana, banana, banana. banana, banana. The monkey in front of you keeps making banana gibberish sounds, reminding you of the film you just watched. Oh, what an entertaining one that was. Do you remember how the theme song goes? Oh god, no. What the fuck did it just do to me? Yep, that's the tune. Let's sing together and open the door to a new world. Who are you? Me? I'm the weary soul in your arduous journey, longing for a moment to rest. I'm not singing. Guys, you know I'm gonna choose this, right? It's. I think we're we're gonna be trapped in this brain rot thing here because I'm already seeing that stupid monkeys. Also, I heard that the English VA of Stell here has a really good singing voice, so this is just a test. I will admit, that's adorable. Fantastic! You're born Benen Gibberish Singer! What the? Look! Your Benen Gibberish has attracted more double monkeys! Oh god, it has happened. It's happening. Banana, 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 banana. Uh, why is this gonna make me sing? I'll, I'll, I, I don't know what, what's going on. Banana, 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 banana. What a wonderful yet harmonious atmosphere. No matter what, you should join in. Embrace the pleasant banana gibberish and the scent of bananas from the little monkeys. Oh God! Look at my choices. Choices. Banana, 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 banana. Banana, 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 banana,
Pananana, pananana, nana. Banana, nana. By the great land above. Oh no, I missed it. All right, I want to hear it. Banana, banana, nana. <laughs> I just want to hear that. What? It's you. <sighs> A most terrifying close call that was. But fear not. The darkest hour of the night may be upon us, but this majestic skyscraper shall now welcome the start of an epic hunt! Oh! Yo, yo! What? Whoa! In the dark, fighting for their lives. Silent ninja hearts, down in red tears. Noble ninja hearts in the night, join here. Stormy tides crashing forth, all evil flame. Come the dawn, shining sparks lighting up again. Yo, yo, dazzling ninja. Hey, hey, nice to meet ya. I have a feeling that this entire story is going to be one big freaking mess of brain rot. I'm going to love it. What kind of devious trap is this? Not only are there feedlings abound, but there are also concealed weapons flying about. Um, who are you? Your weapon is great. You clearly threw those yourself. Ha! I'm afraid you're mistaken. You're simply too good-hearted to realize that the feedlings were manipulating its landing spot with sorcery. But now. Nah. Gone, feedlings! <laughs> I shall give you a taste of my dazzling ninjutsu! I've got one question for you guys. Do you find these monkeys cute? If so, there's something clearly wrong with wrong with all of us. That's impossible! How can it be? Uh you understood that? I... I am unable to communicate with these feelings. Yeah, that's me. Just... why... what the hell? Don't let this weirdo interrupt your happy moments. Listen! The little monkeys are still joyfully inviting you! What? What? Still... Break away from the banana bang rot! Oh, here it is again. That strange feeling. Don't go bananas, girl! Slap yourself in the face! Someone help her! Be on your guard! This is also part of the feeling sorcery! Hang in there! I'll get you out of this right away! Dazzling palm! Righteous shot! Ooh. Bam. How shocking! The ninja strikes your forehead with such force, its powerful impact reverberates through your body, striking your very soul. In an instant, all five of your senses are severed, and the sound of monkey ceases. That hurt! Well, I'm definitely awake now. That almost shattered my Stellaron! My humble apologies. Dazzling Palm was designed to deliver a powerful impact to the soul. I've endeavored to control my strength. Some pain is inevitable if I am to ensure you regain consciousness. Banana, 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 banana. Oh god, Did, you didn't do it on me. The monkeys in front of you have a fierce look in their eyes, as if saying, "What the heck is going on?" That's mostly my question when I saw this. Hmm. Showing your true colors now that your evil schemes have been exposed. They're calling for their fellow ape feelings. Please, take cover behind me. I guess we're gonna fight? Yeah, sounds like a fight to me. Okay. Nice to meet you again. And I don't have a shield. Alright, I'm gonna go auto on this one. Hmm. Still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Hey. 
Ah, yeah. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. There's a great shame that I did Just never got to draw for a Should have been Beneath way handy. Lies an endless abyss. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Again. Damn it. Mind your manners. Alright. They've scampered off in different directions. Those feeblings are up to no good. We better get moving. I honestly like this character here, in all honesty. She's got the straight wise look here. She's a ninja, apparently. But I guess something's there's some meaning to her to her demeanor. So let me leave. Who exactly are you? That's my question. I never leave a question unanswered. I am a ninja, aka Rappa. As stated in the cosmic the? ninjutsu inscriptions, be decisive, lest we be overwhelmed by the consequences. There are still feeblings roaming nearby. Let us be on our way. Oh my god, look, there's a giant bubble. It looks like a monkey. Singing monkeys and a singing ninja. Am I dreaming? Uh, you're in panic only, so... What is this? Banana, 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 banana. This monkey seems to be teaching other monkeys, but you can't understand their banana banana knees. Let's hope you don't feel the same way in your classes at Paper Photo Academy. <laughs> I want to explore this. Dazed monkey. Banana, 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 banana. This one looks just as dazed as the one you saw earlier. If you stare at it for a few more seconds, your intelligence might be affected. If you look closely, you'll see that its eyes don't reflect your image, but instead, a giant banana. Stop. Don't look any longer. Oh my god, that was close. Alright, any, any other thing here? Oh yeah. You're depend- Ooh, that's scaring me. Look how it's turn- look, look, look how it's turning. Look at that! That is the most terrifying little monkey stare I've ever saw in my life. Ugh. I almost got chills. You can return to a safe location after touching this object. Pinacanny truly is filled with boundless <coughs> mysteries. Did- but did, did, did you just say- Panic Canny? <laughs> it's Panicone. Why pen Panic Canny? <laughs> oh, she's. I don't know. If, I don't know if she's stupid or something else. Since fate saw fit to bring us together, may I know your name before we part ways? Right. I am Fervid. Ninja Fervid. I'm the winner once. I am the Galactic Baseballer. Ooh, a strong name. Well met, Baseball Bat Ninja. Um, that's not what I said. Well, men indeed, Dazzling Ninja. That's not what I said. Forgive me for speaking out of turn, Baseball Bat Ninja. Damn it! But for your safety, you and your companion should leave this land of dreams as soon as possible. The appearance of these feelings are a sign of impending disaster. It is proof that the Ninja Hero's arch enemy has their eyes set on the land. The emotionless. Soulless and merciless evil ninja Osaru! What the? It's time for me to depart. Please do take care. Goodbye. Lightning fast. Before you finish speaking, the ninja has already leaped into the dream bubble and vanished without a trace. It all happened so quickly that the average perfect person's eyes can't keep up. This does look like the way out. Let's go. Yes, let's just leave this bizarre dream. You gather your courage and climb over the railing, entering the monkey-shaped bu dream bubble. I'm liking the soundtrack so far. Previously on Cosmic Ninjutsu Inscriptions! Oh my god, a here long, we go. long time ago, in a world far away, there was a city that flourished under the rule of a ninja hero for many generations. It was known as the Ninja Capital. What the hell? Under the protection of the ninja hero, the people of the city thrived. They lived and worked in peace, 
and happiness could be felt even in the sewers of the ninja capital. Until an evildoer known as Eva Ninja Osaru murdered the ninja hero and laid claim to the city. The happiness of days past disappeared in an instant. 56th year of the ninja era, the ninja capital. What? Oh, child, new to the way of the ninja, I recognize your determination. Henceforth, you shall be the successor to my dazzling ninjutsu. Okay, let's 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 take a look at this photo here. We see Rappa here in a city that I have not recognized here. And to make things more noticeable, there's a fucking monkey or gorilla on top of that pole there. Especially the moon. Look at the moon. That's a handsome moon looking moon right there. But look at this. Whoever's behind her has paint splattered like blood on his clothing. What the hell happened? Thank you, Master Kucha. This is my greatest honor. Behold the city of shadow, a sinful land of suffering, hatred, and sorrow. Bloody tears soon to devour all hope for the morrow. Soulless evil ninja, or Saru, agent of the vile, cast the masses into sin by foul arts and guile. Fiendlings indulgent in evil gone wild enrage the hearts of all man, woman, and child. Okay, he's t he's talking like he's trying to make something up on the fly, while keeping up an act. That's what I'm getting from the vocals, vocal tone on this one. Inherit the legacy of the ninja hero, and wipe clean the sins of Osaru. End the suffering wrought upon the ninja capital, and bring peace back to its people. An astounding recitation of the ninja mantra, Master Kucha. I swear I will train hard until I become the Dazzling Ninja! And she's not named too. So it's, there's something going on, I believe. An admirable resolution. Uh, to contend with the evil ninja, you will also need a new name. A name befitting a ninja. What should I be called? I don't know, my disciple. Your name will carry your ideals, your convictions, <laughs> and your destiny. Your ninja name belongs to you alone. So the decision is yours to make. Hmm. Something's going on. I can't help what with that. What a baffling dream. I should now be at Paperful University, right? I might as well damn near well be. Uh, oh, we're over here! There it is! Oh, look. An owl. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we're definitely here. This is new to me, on all honesty. Okay, I just got back from my lunch, and we're going to be doing the 400 Bananas. That's the quest name. So, let's go out and meet with March. And a hunk. Oh, you're late. Did you run off to Idine Park with someone to clown about again? Why do you always think me as a troublemaker? Uh, I met a lot of monkeys. I met a ninja. Banana banana. <laughs> you tell everyone about the strange dream you just had. Monkeys and a ninja. Mm, that doesn't sound like something that happened in Penacony. It seems more like a dream bubble. And there's more monkeys I see. Uh, those monkeys you were talking about? Is that them? There are monkeys here too? That's them! Am I still dreaming? Uh, I knew you had to be talking about Slumber Nana Monkey! Wait, what? Slumber Nana Monkey? Allow me to introduce you to the most popular little guy in Paperfold University. It's more beloved than Clocky. <gasps> more beloved than Clocky? Now that's just impossible. Something's definitely wrong. Slumber Nana Monkey likes goofing off and loves eating bananas. It lives a carefree life in the moment of Slumber Nana. Is it also a cartoon character created by the watchmaker? No, I don't think so. <sighs> no, no. It only appeared recently. It's a... Uh, uh, what's it called again? A me, uh, a meme. 
a me mini. <laughs> Hold on. There it goes again. No one knows where it came from. It just blew up overnight. Fans made up bananas that only fellow fans would understand. And even created sticker packs and fan works. I know that some of these things are freaking highlighted. That just tells me something's wrong. Uh, the most popular one is the Slumber Nana song. Banana, -na, banana, -na -na. banana, 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 banana. That sounds really odd. You're really up to date. I don't want to listen to it anymore. <laughs> By this point, this song's gonna make 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 my brain rot again. You're really up to date. <laughs> of course. I'm a college student who keeps up with the times. How do you know so much? I question that as well. Uh, from the campus group chat, of course. I joined the group before school even started, so I'd get to know more people. That's just common sense. How's it common sense to join a random group chat in college? Uh, you'll have a hard time making friends at school if you stay out of touch. Here, I'll add you two to the group. Hey, don't use me. Well, I guess we're added to the group then. What the hell? Why does my game keep lagging at all times? What is this? Paperful University Fresh Banana Group. Say Cheese invites me, Dong Hong, to the group. Say Cheese, that's her freaking name. So just brought in two fresh bananas. Hey, welcome, Treasure Nana. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> That's gonna make me look stupid. Chadlenka, there's Peeling Richie, ne Nena Bloom Chan, hard working edition. <laughs> Hello. Send a Slumber Nana Monkey sticker, a. Send a formal self introduction, or send a trendy self introduction. I question what that means, but fuck it. Aw, lovely to meet you. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. What did I just send? Hang on. Aw, oh, lovely to e meet you. Aw. Oh. Uh, star, a bunch of random profanities, uh, blushy emo uh, text emoji. Oh. Um, star, hey, it's fervid here. Feel free to call me Galactic Baseballer if you like. Cool posture. I'm a green little freshman. Add <laughs> me as yes, your friend on social media, banana. <clears throat> I, I'm trying to read it all, but my voice just died down, and so to her, so to him, so to her. A, a pleasure to meet you. Oh, a pleasure to meet you. A pleasure. Oh, okay. That was fun. She laughs. Say, Chase, your friend is so funny. She's not my friend anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, she dissed me. <laughs> it's almost time. Let's proceed to admissions. <laughs> Come on, let's go! A spectacular campus life awaits us! Can, can we talk about what just happened in the chat? Way. Do people really come to the planet of festivities just to study? I mean, how else can you create dreams like this? Paperfold University was established during the pioneering era. It was initially a training ground for Dreamweavers and was founded by Glocks, head of the Nightingale family. Alright, so we got a name for the head of the Nightingales. Later on, the Iris and Alfalfa families also got involved in university operations. And the education landscape expanded into the three academies we have today. Dreamweaver, Charmony, 
and fortune. From there, Paperfold University became known as the top art school in the cosmos. That's nice. Wow. Mm. Is this really a school? Yep. It looks grander than the theme park. That's an art school for you. Paperfold University's motto is color your dreams, free your ideals. What we see before us reaffirms those words. Hmm. We still have some time before the anniversary celebration's opening ceremony. Let's take a look around. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. Oh, hell, I am very excited for this one. Let's look around at our future school. Alright, I want to look around. Let's start with the left side. Alright. Transfer to Fortune Academy. Oh, right, let's listen in. You two, do you want to transfer to Fortune Academy? The teachers are here are very responsible. The course quality is excellent. Quality is excellent and learning atmosphere is strong. If you want to better yourself, Fortune Academy is for you. Does Fortune Academy have 8 a.m. classes? Does Fortune Academy help students with job placements after graduation? Well, transfer to Fortune Academy. Oh, this is like finding uh, a way to promote these, uh, I guess, curriculums and all that stuff. Dude, look at that. I'm guessing that's a nightingale right there. Grab a bottle of soul glad. Stop singing that song. D drink this so glad. Make your dreams a blast. How does she even make it into Charmony Academy? Well, shh, don't ask things you shouldn't. Just clap. <laughs> well, tone deaf. And I see another thing in Professor. Oh my god, it's a Professor. Oh, let's talk to it. What, what? These playful children, they've gone all missing. What a tete hoot. So what happened? Hoot hoot, I've never seen you before. Are you a new transfer student? My apologies, I'm in a bit of a trouble here. I won't be able to help you handle your admission process right now. Today was supposed to be the Paperfold Woods final exam today. But once those children heard about the exam, they all fled without a trace while, while I wasn't looking. Hoot hoot. Final exam? Hoot hoot. I ad advocate in learning through play, so the children study through games and practical tasks. As the birds grow, I will slowly add stringent educational methods like textbook text tests. But these little fellows inherently yearn for freedom and protest these tests. An evil presence they deem alien in the Dreamville boot. I don't. I just got done searching for a round and they turn tail and fly away the moment they see me. These old wings of mine are no match for them in speed. Not only is my back so now, I didn't even manage to retrieve a little birdie hoot. Um, I don't know if you did retrieve a birdie, but I think one of them's hiding inside your empty brain. <laughs> but hoot hoot, new student, I see you're quick on your feet, you're, and you're f a, a football, of able. The birds will surely trust you. How about the us out? Come in, exams are our major event in a bird's life. Hoot Hoot, such a helpful student. Well then, look at these mischievous children in my stead, and pass along a message. When exams are over, this old bird will take them to the town and buy tasty dreamy cones. Pinky promise, Hoot Hoot. I will stay here. You see that? I will stay here and wait for the returning birds. I leave the searching to you. This old bird is surely repay you with lavishly Hoot. Well, I guess I found one. It was in your hand. Come on. Wow, your knowledge is hard. Whoa, Jenny Jelly Tweet. These aren't Professor Owl's feathers. He's a big baldy. A baldy tweet. The god of talent glanced at Professor Owl, plucked out three of his feathers, and granted him knowledge. Baldy, baldy, it's a curse of knowledge. No wonder I keep failing in math tweet. I can also grant you knowledge. No, I'd rather be a beautiful, dumb bird tweet. <laughs> well, I found one of your students. 
So, I'm guessing the professor is an owl, or somewhat. Either way, let's let's just find the rest. Paperfold Academy. I've already looked around. So let's look in the center of attention. I hear that... Oh, I hate those monkeys so bad. Is this going to be on TV? Oh, look. Alright, let me get the basic treasure. I'm utterly See, disappointed in this school. Mike Holding Lady. <clears throat> Hello, can you tell us more about uh, what you think about Paper Fuller University? <sighs> what is there to say about this academy? The course quality is inconsistent and it's hard to find a job after graduation. Why? Wait, is this going on TV? Uh, yes. Let's re-record re this part. Hello, everyone. I'm a graduate of Paper Fold Academy, and I have a deep love for this school. Yeah, you better say that. <laughs> Banana! Banana! Aww, Slumber Nana Monkey is so cute! I mean, are you sure about that? Oh, are you Slumber Nana Monkey's right banana, too? Right banana? You could say I'm more of a fresh banana than a ripe banana. Is that a plush next to you? What is going on? I bought this from the creator's market. Doesn't it look realistic? The booth owner said this design is especially popular and really hard to get. Banana, banana, banana. <laughs> You know what the funniest thing I could tell you about? I'm just gonna lay this out here. If anyone knows their zodiac calendars, mine is I was born in the year of the monkey. Which is weird and odd. But that's also ridiculous. Banana, banana, banana. Mm. I'm gonna try to look like a gorilla. <laughs> what the hell are you? Hello, new students. How okay. are you? Oh my god. Uh, what is that? A new kind of a nuisance. That scared me. It looks unique. Dream Troop, troop prepare for combat. Did <laughs> I scare you? Sorry, I'm Assistant Anna 416 from the Welcoming Committee. I don't, I didn't like the, I liked the, 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 the Dream Jolt Troop before, but this, I'm not being suspicious about these things. Especially this big old banana, uh, monkey face there. Assistant? Nana? Like a teacher's assistant? More like a teacher's pet. It's bananas. Students are in love with Slumber Nana Monkey right now. So our faculty did our homework and changed up our image. Banana. Banana. Why are the faculty in Paperfold University from the Sweet Dreams Troop? I mean, don't know. Most of the teachers are attending the academic conference during the school's anniversary. That's why the dean asked the Sweet Dreams Troop to be substitute teachers. Banana. Banana. Damn it, why? <clears throat> I mean, sure, it's nice to give these Dream Jolt troops a voice now and then. Don't you worry. The banana advisors come loaded with the memories of the senior professors. Our banana academic standards remain top notch. There's no need to worry about studies right now, though. Please enjoy the Dreamlight anniversary first. Banana. Banana. Damn it, stop it. All right. <clears throat> I, I now know words like banana advisors and a banana academic. Banana academic. <laughs> These words are going to confuse me as a uh, hell. I sure will. I wasn't planning to study anyway. <laughs> That's totally something you do. You would admit that right away without a hesitation. <laughs> That's a bold declaration. Was that a snort? Wait, did Dahan just try to laugh? Hang on. <laughs> That's a bold... <laughs> That's my first time hearing him snort and laugh. <laughs> That's all right. Paperfold University is a school of freedom. Spend your youth however you'd like. You there! Please, wait a moment! Who's calling me? Huh? Are you talking to us? Akron, stop breaking school property. Yeah. I hear the call of a, of a, of a beautiful woman. And a beautiful woman. <laughs> and you are? You guys were easy to spot. You, the pink pretty girl with the camera. You're say cheese, aren't you? S so you th pretty girl? <laughs> really? You calling my girlfriend pretty? 
or stealth. Got a problem with that? I thought you were just stealths, only one and only. Hi there! <laughs> I'm Treasure Nana from the campus group chat. You can call me Montana. Montana Banana Banana Nana. Nice to meet you. My name is Don Hung. I'm Fervent. I'm a galactic baseballer. I'm Baseball Dad Ninja. Oh gosh! I recognize you! You're this season's festive superstar! Oh, you're famous! Oh, uh, dude, I'm so popular. Do you want an autograph from your shirt or something? I don't mind signing. I never thought I'd go to the same school with someone famous! I bet you'll be assigned to the Charmony Academy. I mean, not sure, but maybe. Uh, Signed? Ah, it refers to the tuning test. At the entrance ceremony, the family's members will analyze the potential of students through tuning and assign them to the appropriate academy. Hmm, no one said there'd be an exam. I'm dropping out. Bye. Hey, Don Hong, can I copy your answers? <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. It's not a real exam. Thank God. Aww, the family assigns every student their major? doesn't sound very harmonious to me. Yeah, that's weird. Don't worry. If a student disagrees with the result, they can apply for a transfer to another academy. It's just that most people don't. The pressure is high, even in a dream. Not to mention competition has grown fierce ever since Penaconi relaxed their entrance reviews after the place went public. Most of us are just grateful the family is willing to guide us. Uh. That's reality for you. Yep, that's curriculum. Anyway, let's change the subject. Are you going to attend the Dean's speech? My friends and I are going to check out the Creator's Market, so I won't be joining you. They're not taking attendance anyway. See you later. Bana! Bana! Shut bitch. Uh, the teachers and students here sure are <laughs> unique. That's easy for you to say. I am too! How do you do, fellow student? I have social anxiety. Uh, no one is going to buy that. You're never afraid of anything. Ha! <laughs> oh, look at the time. The anniversary celebration's opening ceremony should be starting soon. Let's go see the Dean. Yeah, let's go to see the Dean. Look, the Dean is going on stage. What? No way! The Dean is a... Is a what? An old man? Uh, uh, <laughs> what? What? Hello, students. What the fuck? Or should I say, Benajour? Benajour? What the fuck? He's a monkey! Oh god, he's an ape. What is going on? Is this a gag? I is he a mascot? The Dean is a monkey? Is the Dean supposed to be this unserious? But na 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 na. I just clicked that. Hey, look! It's Slumber Not a Monkey! What was that? Eee. Really? I'm Professor Freeman. You may also call me by my more fashionable moniker, Prof Nana. <laughs> Did I surprise you? Don't worry, students. I have not gone mad. The reason I'm appearing before you like this is to show our new students the ethos of Paperfold University. Color your dreams. Free your ideals. Ah, <sighs> lovely aspiration. But I hear that the words ring hollow nowadays. The pressure of schoolwork has kept all of you from looking up at the beautiful starry sky of the dreamscape. Yeah, those are pretty stars. My schedule for the semester is packed. All I do is eat, study, and sleep. It's so hard to prepare for my thesis defense. I'm stuck on my thesis. Yeah, those, uh, are, the, those are the extreme worries of college life. My dear students, this is not the way. This is not how youngsters in the land of the dreams should behave. So today, I bring you good news. After some discussion, the teaching research team has come to a unanimous decision to cancel all courses and exams for this semester. Everyone who attends the school anniversary will earn their credit. Well, that's a dream come true to some students. No classes? No courses? What do we just do then? Yeah, most of these students look like they're, they're actually on 30, past 30, or 
or, or between 20 and 30. Yes, do not doubt your ears, young ones. Freedom. This is what Paperfold University yearns to teach you. Leave your worries over school and life behind and express yourself. Spread the love of your favorite things, such as Slumber Nana Monkey, to every corner of the campus. Welcome to the Dreamlight Anniversary. Color your dreams. Free your ideas. Yay! Free stuff. Free credit. Free classes. Free to create. We're getting free creds. Nice. Yeah, cheer on. Cheer on for this is going bananas. I know. Go insane. Go eight. Let's just monkey around. Yeah, it, it, it's actually deafening my ears. Looks like Paperfold University is more open-minded than the rumors say. It uh, really suits Pentacorn. It the does. The tuning test is up next. Let's go. The waiting area is in the open classroom. Yeah, I just realized something. When I looked closer to Hoff Nana, why does he look like a futuristic version of Mojo Jojo? I hear mojo jojo. Something like that, right? I am gonna go you. I can't do the mojo impression. Stop it. I am here to teach you the freedom of creativity. I am mojo jojo. -jo. Let's go bananas. Something like that. It's important to get me. Wait, I see something else. Haru, Dream River Academy's honor student? Eh, forget it. All right, I want to see the Dream Peak. Real quick, a peculiarly designed, fixed in place, we all know what it is, ring ring, good evening, shall we play it? Yes, just dial it. Dial tone. Ring ring ring. The dream be connected. <gasps> Robin's dream. Wait, is this going to be sad? Miss teacher, the explosions are getting closer. We, we'll be okay, right? Don't worry, those sounds are just someone pressing the wrong keyboard keys. Let us play the correct melody to guide them. Follow my rhythm. Now, six, seven, eight. A splendid voice blankets all cacophonies. It is as if the world has gone completely silent in the moment. Our wishes are coming true little by little. Isn't that right? Aww. You can't begin to imagine Robin's feelings when she awakens from the dream only feeling an empty, heart-wrenching sensation in your chest that is steadily spreads out. Here we are! There's so many people! Is everyone here for the exam? I guess. To look at this classroom, though. That's huge, yeah? Right, let's listen in. These few students are chatting about a topic that you know nothing about. Banana card? Slumber Nana Association? Teaching monkeys with bananas? At least the classroom's atmosphere is lively. Uh, what are you talking about? They ignore you and continue on with their conversation. For a small group of friends, maybe three people, chatting is already their limit. With four, they might consider starting a band. And with five, a complex love story riddled with love and hate might unfold. Don't be disappointed. Believe that you will be able to have your own little group in the future as well. Bitches. Alright. There's a Vex student and something for me to collect. Alright, what do you got? Pain expression as if something's troubling him. It might be he emptied his savings to pay tuition. Or that he discovered that the cafeteria food is paper phone. University isn't great. Or that he found out that the girl he had a crush on when he first enrolled is holding an upperclassman's arm. Bro, are you alright? This guy doesn't acknowledge you. It seems to hit like his endless troubles have shut him off from the world. Just like how every teacher has endless principles to share, every student also has en endless dreary worries. But don't worry, once they start working all day long, they won't have to time the worry. Jesus Christ. Alright. According to your student number, this is your assigned seat. Please wait here for the teacher to arrive. Yeah, let's take a seat. 
He's already learning. She's already making friends. What the? Oh, what was that? settle down. I know the voice. Please quiet down. Get back to your seat. Oh. Turn off all recording devices. He just turned them off. Get ready. Ooh. The film is about to begin. He's already gonna be unique. I can tell that. Hello, cast members. I am your director for this exam. You may call me Mr. Rekka. It's the name I commonly use in the end credits. <laughs> okay. Dude, you already know that he might be a playable character because look at his eyes. That's a play button symbol right there. And he's talking like he's a director? He's gotta be a movie director. Trainee, chief examiner. Your name is Mr. Rekka. Is it like record or something? Uh, Mr. Rekka. Please mind your verbiage. You're not on set. This is a classroom. How dare you, lady. No good! Cast members of the family, do remember that everywhere I stand is a set. He sounds like a big shot. Dude, look at his belt. His belt has film reel. Oh my god, it's him! It's Mr. Rekka and the Fish! It's cool! Yeah, pretty famous, huh? Cast members, please remember your lines. I'm currently playing the role of a guest lecturer, and you are my students. Please stay in character. Uh, this guy looks familiar. Oh, I think I saw a picture of him in the Blue Hour. He's a really famous director. I think. You think? Ah, oh, Mr. Rekka. He's known for works such as Soul Shattered Dark Star, uh, Fading Nebula, and the famous Knights of Miniature. Okay, so how do you know that, Dong Hong? Huh? I thought you only watched documentaries. That's weird for me to, s to hear from him. His works are based on real life events. They are worth referencing. Well, let me see what the script for this scene says. Mm. The Examiner? Hmm? presides over the exam as the family tunes the students to discover their talents within their soul's melody. I know the voice actor. I ain't gonna say his name, but I do know him. All I know is... Natsu. I know... I... I... Yeah. <sighs> Dude, if he's playing... If that guy... If that actor is playing this character, I know he's gonna nail it. Boring. I'm changing the directions of this scene. Cast members of the family? That's a wrap for you. W what? But tuning is the most important segment of the tuning test. Huh? Oh. Miss Sedina, in your 13 years and four months of teaching, you've committed seven counts of academic fraud. It seems your laziness has turned your artistic integrity into a pile of decaying film. How does he know that one? What? Uh, uh, academic fraud? What are you talking about? This got intense really quick. This scene will determine the students' very futures. Yet your academy would have me produce such slop. It's no wonder the Iris family hasn't produced a good film in centuries. Uh, enough! You're only here as an examiner because of the acting dean. You, you can't dictate what we do. A according to academy regulations... According to academy regulations. Think carefully now. What do the academy regulations say exactly? Let me, okay, let me point this out. If any text that has a highlight right here, like, think carefully. That kind of highlight right there makes me think of Black Swan, what she does. Did he just did something to this woman? The Academy regulations very clearly state that the examiner's word is law in the examination room, so... Wait, but you're the examiner. What's going on here? Yeah, he did something. Good, you finally connected the dots. On my set. The director's word is law. Well, well, I, uh, huh? I can hear the confusion. Members of the cast, I've reached a consensus with the producers. 
This exam shall now be an audition. Are you ready? I will surely find the perfect role for you. Uh, Mr. Rekka is so amazing. He convinced the family so easily. I don't think that's convincing. That family member's reaction was strange. It's as if she suddenly changed her mind. That's what I thought too. It sounded like blackmail, but could Mr. Rekka be using clockwork? Maybe she was just in awe of the director's aura? Marge, I know your, 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 your um, whatever you just said does not make sense to me because that doesn't match with anything what just happened. Hey, student with the gray hair, it's your turn. Go to the performing arts classroom. Wait, me? Uh, it's finally your turn. Hurry and go. If you finish early, don't forget to tell us how it went. Oh, look how she cute it is with the head just over the table right here. <laughs> All right. Well, is there any... All right, um, can I speak to you, anyone? Is there anything here, really? Whoa, okay. Oh, there's Rob right there. Not sure who she is, but she's got a rose for an eye patch. Oh, there. Oh, wait, are these the family members? Yeah, there must be the family heads, I guess. Right? Right? It's important to what get famous as soon as possible. Did I just? And graduate early, wait. too. Where is that at? Where is it? Ah, I see you. Right there. <laughs> you can't hide from my eyes, uh. hey. Alright. I want to skip that one. I, I know I like to find these birds and all. To look at the TV screens there and there. Alright. Property. I like how everything has an arrow to point you in the direction you need to go to. Alright. I honestly want to explore a lot more of this school here. Like, really. Space anchor we got. Oh, ah, there's another part of the school. Uh, let's go over here real quick. Alright, this looks like a... Whoa. That looks so cool, though. I ain't gonna lie. Another one here. Let's see. Alright, give me a design. Okay, we know. Alright, let's make the call. Dial tone. Alright, who's stream? Wait, is that Huahua's dream, it says? Yeah, Huahua's dream. When Nyphon says, Huahua, I heard the heli healer by our haunty fixed garden again. We should go check it out. Let's go. I've got my gourd with me anyway. I'll make sure to bust all these prankster jerks at this time. Oh, Hwakwa, you really are the most reliable judge of the Ten Lords Commission. I'm counting on you. Wait, is it in her dream that she's a brave judge? That she's actually brave? Judge Hwakwa, please accompany me to the Shackley Prison. The criminal accused of the Ten Unpardonable Sins is about to be sentenced. Understood, Madam Hanya. It's dark in the jail, and the walk is long. Please follow behind me in case we run into trouble. Hmm, this case is quite tricky. Good thing you were at the commission, and or who knows how long this would have taken. Qua qua. Pathetic. A puny Heliobus dares disrupt my peace and quiet. A Ten Lords Commission judge stands before you. All evil spirits should turn tail and start fleeing. Ha! You sure are a bratty one. How about saying that one more time to my face? <laughs> I'm sorry, that made me laugh. <laughs> Uh, the call ends here. You're not sure if Huang Hua was rudely awoken from a dream, or if she was dragged away by Mr. Tail to parts unknown. It'd be disastrous if such somniloquy uh, was accidentally spoken. That was satisfying, to be honest. Okay, so here's the audition here. Oh, cool. Whoa, that's a massive white screen right here. Oh, nice, nice, nice. And I see a bird here. Let me pull that out real quick. What's going on? I'm gonna yank you out. Come, come, come. Think about it. 
are found me and yanked me out the same thing? Yes. Think about it again, carefully. What are you trying to say? Speech requires... Oh, I'm pressing precise words. This is not, nothing I learned in the debate class. Yeah, just go. Just, just go. You're confusing me. <laughs> Welcome to the audition. Dude, look at this demand's design. I see film over here. Got some gold uh, tailoring of the film. Uh, film film uh, wheels here. The buckle is a film reel as well. It's a nice design, like a steampunk design. The audition process is simple. You need only answer a few questions. Of course, I won't be judging based on your answers alone. <laughs> I will be watching your every move on camera. I know you're Penacone's festive superstar, so I expect you to show me what you're made of. Scene one, take one, action. Is this a, uh, interview? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> this doesn't look right. Here we go again. Cut! Assistant director! Change the scene, please. What? Okay, that'll do. <gasps> Let me see here. <laughs> Perfect! You're born to be a performer! Dude, she's born to be smug. Look at her face. That smile, that smirk. She knows what she's doing. Thanks for the compliment. How did you know? Of course. Oh, you're welcome. And you're very polite. Good etiquette can get you far in this industry. Now, for the first question, please introduce yourself. Let's see. I'm one of the nameless on the Astro Express. Nah. I am the fastest superstar, a shareholder, a Pentagoni. Hmm. Let's go with this. I am the Galactic Baseballer, aka Baseball Bat Ninja. <laughs> Joking with the examiner during an exam. You have a desire to perform. Okay, second question. What are you most proud of about yourself? Let's see. I'm willing to put my life at the risk. I can take a bidding. I'm thick skinned. Hmm. I can take a beating. I'm willing to put my life at risk. Thick skin. I'm going to put my life at risk. I, I can suppose take a you mean you're in good shape. Yes. The cast welcomes newcomers <laughs> who are hardworking and persevering. I like the fact that she has the look and the face that she has no gives no uh, fucks about it. It's like she doesn't care. Now, for the third question. I'll let her do the honors. <laughs> Honestly, I like the Robofrog right there. This is my assistant director. A reliable partner who's skilled at cinematography, script supervising, editing, and more. Has a better eye than me Oops. when it comes to casting performers. Mmm, a very perceptive question. <laughs> How do you respond? How do I respond? She didn't even say anything. She's very cute. Quack, quack. Oh, you were tactful in the face of someone making things difficult for you. However, the assistant director doesn't like to be praised for her appearance. Hmm. Fine. Pretend I didn't say anything. She's very happy with your praise. <laughs> I can't stand the look at her face. Now, the final question. Nameless, your memory began on board a station of erudition, hmm. where you then boarded a train of trailblaze. In your journey, you witnessed the will of preservation, the determination of the hunt, and the dispute between harmony and order. Wait, how does he know that? You ran across many different sets and witnessed many different stories. Did you find a theme, or perhaps a dream, that belongs solely to you? I'm getting suspicious what he just mentioned. How do you know so much? It's only natural for a director to familiarize himself with the performer's resume before an audition. Alright, so, yes I found it. No, I haven't found it. I honestly say, I'm refused to answer. Hmm, a very individualistic answer. You have a style that can hook an audience. 
just like how you've piqued more of my curiosity. Cut! You have finished your exam. Let's take a look at your results. Most of your answers were clever, like an astute producer. Combined with your experience in dealing with the Interastral Peace Corporation, the best academy for you is Fortune Academy. What do you think? Are you satisfied with your result? Let's see. I'm satisfied and I'll take it, but I'm not satisfied. Let me choose for myself. Hmm. I don't know, to be honest. Hmm. I don't know. Is there a difference in that? I, I don't know. Hmm. Now, it is weird. But weird, weird. I mean, Fortune Academy, I'm not sure what that is, though. Like, not sure what it is, though. Am I allowed to choose myself, or he's gonna say, no, you're not gonna choose it? I think it's gonna be different though. Whatever. Very good. I'm grateful you're willing to listen to your director's suggestions. It's truly an honor. The audition is over. You are now a student of Fortune Academy. Here is your student card. Alright, here's my question. Is, uh. This type of thing different for anyone else. Who knows, right? Hmm. Oh, can you feel it? The drama concealed within this campus is stirring. Why do I have a feeling that he knows something about what's going on? This is where your story begins. Don't disappoint me or the audience now, my dear leading character. Leading character? Drama? This Mr. Rekka says some strange things. Indeed. Don't My exam is over. Friends. I'll wait for March 7th and done home. And should they be outside then? Dong Hung and March also finished the exam after some time has passed. Uh, that Mr. Rekka said I'm better suited for Dreamweaver Academy instead of Charmony Academy. Uh, what's wrong with that? Is Dreamer Academy not good enough? I really thought I had the acting chops. Now I have to go pour concrete in Dream's Edge. It's not fair. Did you accept the assignment? Of course I did. He was all serious when he said I would encounter a future full of dramatic tension in Dreamweaver Academy. It made me really curious. Uh, it's no skin off my back anyway. So, I thought I'd give it a shot. What about you two? What academy did you get? Fortune. Whoa, I heard lots of rich people come from Fortune Academy. Old classmate. <laughs> Don't forget me once you're rich. I could never forget about you, March. You're the wife. I'll be going to Charmony Academy. Oh my. I didn't know you had dreams of stardom, Don Hung. Only the most sophisticated people, like Don Hong, have a chance to go acting. <clears throat> it's because Mr. Rekka insisted. He's also a guest lecturer at Charmony Academy. It didn't feel right to refuse. All right, all right, I get it. You won over the big bad director with your superstar aura. You don't have to show off. Anyway, we're finally done with the admission process. Let's go check out the anniversary. How about we start with the creator's market that Montana mentioned? The market? Oh, by the way, Mr. Rekka asked me about Bellabog. How did he know about that? Yeah. He also asked about the Xianzhou Alliance. Hmm. Maybe he saw it in the admission documents Himiko submitted. Not sure, Dong Hong. But why did she have to mention that I broke the synthesizer? Oh? Alright, I want to see this real quick before I end this here. A peculiarly designed... Yes, I know. 
Alright, dial the Dream Peak. Yeah. Alright, whose dream am I going into? Professor Ratio's dream? The distinct sound of splashing water can be heard from the other side. You're guessing that Professor Who pursues pure thought is being submerged in the bathtub right now. Oh, memorial principles. To think that the Nightingale family would choose a book with such rudimentary theory as a gift. How lovable. Mystery of the Imperator of Insectorum's Fall. When did the Intel in Intelligentsia Guild start writing academic material for high schools? Dr. Primitive's secret identity. Does the IPC really think I'd be interested in such street tabloids? How banal. Is there no conundrum to stimulate my brain? Professor, the bath salt is almost past the, its effective period. Might I ask what type of you wish to use next? Not bad. You brought up a question worthy of thinking about. It appears that even the most intelligent mind can also com also contemplate on questions like what to eat today. All right, it's Sunday, and I'm going to continue on for a bit, only for a bit. Oh, look, there are so many students here, and so many booths. Are they all set up by student clubs? I would assume so. Let's get something to eat while we walk. Oh, uh, March is a cute is a for this one. Oh, some chandelka. Hello, is that what you're and welcome to the dessert club. I can already tell you're going to be the most adorable thing I've seen around here. Timid classmate. Dessert club? Did you make all these yourself? That's awesome. It is. Thank you. Uh, I'm the club president, Shalika. Hmm. I think I've seen your name in a group chat. Foxy, a friend of mine, just talks just like you. <laughs> oh, did you? I don't really chat. So, how much for these desserts? No, uh, we're hosting a Dreamscape Patissier Challenge. Students can choose from the ingredients provided by the dessert club and design their own banana pie. Banana pie? Oh, that sounds good. Banana pie? Indeed. Because of Slimmer Nana Monkey's popularity, all kinds of banana dishes have become popular. Please, give it a try. Well, in that case, you can do the design while Don Hung makes the dessert. Oh. March, poor March. You've trusted me with the most important task to me. <laughs> You're gonna regret it. What about you? I'll be the taste tester, of course. You got this. Oh, you're gonna regret it so much. <laughs> the first thing you must choose for your dessert is the banana. There are three types. The sour jade green banana from the Von Walk rainforests. The intense bloodthorn banana, commonly used as seasoning. And the extinct golden slumber nana that was once popular across the universe, but now only exists in sweet dreams. Hmm. The jade green banana. Hmm. Nah, sour's not too good. I'm not good with sour. The intense bloodthorn banana coming in the seasoning. Hmm. Let's go with the golden banana. This banana looks familiar. Next, we'll add some emotions to give the dessert its unique texture. This is also a feature unique to dreamscape cooking. Hmm, how about happiness? Finally, for added flavor, we have Penacone Sweet Dream Icing, as Donna's specialty cinnamon and the hotel's special chili sauce. Um, why is there chili sauce? Good question. Because Paperfold University students come from many different planets. One of the members said they dip everything in chili back at home. Mmm. Let's see. Dream icing, cinnamon. You know I'm gonna choose this one. Just to kick up the spice. <clears throat> Are you sure? Don't question the master chef. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
The banana pie is complete. I'll start baking. Why does she talk so adorable? After a brief bake, your banana pie is ready. Oh, it looks good. Time for the taste test. I think you're gonna regret mine. You're gonna love my pie, Marge. I know you will. Oh, wow. This flavor. I've never tasted a banana this good. Oh, this dessert is so tasty. I feel so happy. And... Ugh! <laughs> uh, and it's really spicy. Uh, what did you put in there? I put in my specialty. Uh, it's a secret recipe from Jacho. <laughs> oh, why you? Get over here! <gasps> she did the scorpion! Oh, hell no. She pulled a scorpion on me. You, you are pinned to the table by March 7th as she forcibly stuffs the banana banana behind your mouth. Spicy. So spicy. <coughs> I, I'm more concerned that she pinned you to the table. March is definitely topping. Uh, serves you right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I like my desserts with sweet and spicy. I like my food sweet and spicy, okay? Not sure about desserts, though, but still, sweet and spicy, the best combination. <laughs> Looks like March 7th feels very strongly about your cooking. <laughs> it feels good when you create something that touches another person's heart. Whether it's desserts or weaving dreams. I'm all, you know, I'm always going for people's hearts. You're a senior in Dreamweaver Academy? I'll be going there too. I'll be sure to ask if I have questions. Qu questions uh, uh, I'm not that good. You should ask them in Dreamweaving class. Huh? No, nothing. Uh, feel free to visit the other booths. <laughs> I hope you have a good time. I feel like that she's going to have a development arc sometime. Like, she's going to be more confident, if I think, after this whole story goes through. Oh, look! It's Slumber Nana Monkey! Oh, God, no. More oh, monkeys? Uh, welcome! Welcome! <laughs> Welcome to the Toys and Models Club. Oh, it's you guys. I, I'm Dylan Richie from the group chat. You can call me Richie. You know us? Wait, so are we going to meet the club mem the group chat members? Of course. You're the festive superstar. The nameless and Panacone shareholders. Don't underestimate Fortune Academy's intelligence network. The paper fold forums were filled with the latest scoops before you even walked through the school gates. Someone with your eminent status must have a keen eye for consumer products. So, let me introduce you to the Toys and Models Club's bestseller, the Slumber Nana Monkey Figurine! Behold, the intelligence in its eyes, its soft, lustrous fur, and its lifelike appearance. It's just like having the real Slumber Nana Monkey. I don't know about everything you just said, but lifelike? I could tell they are they're soulless, to be honest. <laughs> Banana, banana, banana! Damn it, you! The toy talks. This is the dreamscape. A regular toy won't draw the eyes of the consumer, so Fortune Banana Advisor allowed me to add a little memoria to it. Look, isn't it as realistic as a memory zone meme? Well, I should let you know, there's only one left in stock, so act now and don't miss out. Only 8,800 alpha alpha credits. It's duty free and has a six month warranty. We also support payment with credits. Wait, 800 and 8,800 alpha, alpha credits? I want a discount. I'm haggling. This <laughs> is the lowest price, buddy. You can't even buy a meal in the golden hour with this amount of credits. Fine. Still not buying. <laughs> Do I want to take one? Hmm. Oh, wonderful. Huh? Thank you for your purchase, son. Um, now I can afford living expenses this month. Well, hurry and give us the monkey already! Yes, give my girlfriend some monkeys. <laughs> the demand is too high right now. Uh, the toys you see here are all pre-order samples. There's still some time before the products officially ship. Why didn't you say so earlier? Setting quite the example as our scene. You flatter me, buddy. Uh, these are normal business practices. You'll learn about them in class. Don't worry, once the product leaves the warehouse, I'll contact you. No, I'll personally deliver it to you. You better. Uh, forget it. Let's visit.
visit the other booths. So I spent my money on nothing. I want a refund. Huh? Why is there a crowd blocking the way? The owner? Sometimes it's nice to slow down. So what's going on here? Uh, hi. Excuse me. Can you move out of the way? Wait. Don't go there. The disciplinary committee is searching for a student who broke school rules. Who's so? Huh? Where's your school uniform? You're getting a demerit. What, the, what do you mean? We're new students. New students? Then remember my face well. Be on your best behavior when I'm around. The only thing I will remember is my fist punching you in the face. Wait, President. I've read about them on the paperfold forums. They're the Peniconi shareholders who have come to visit. What? Peniconi shareholders? Smirks. You flash a smile, your lips curving more than a banana, like a storm cloud looming, making the disciplinary committee students tremble. <laughs> My friends, I was just kidding earlier. Please, you three can go wherever you like. If the booths up ahead aren't enough, why don't you come visit my dorm? Or my home? No thanks. Uh, this one's attitude changed faster than the people you use clockwork on. Definitely. Uh, what's going on with the student who broke school rules? <sighs> There's someone acting suspiciously and leaving graffiti on campus. They're dressed oddly, wearing a glowing scarf and speaking nonsense. More nonsense than Benet gibberish. A familiar description. Um, is that the person up ahead? Yeah, it is Rappa. Oh, darn, it's her! Academic vulgarity. <laughs> <laughs> Found you! You're not getting away this time! Ninja and Nishikigaku, it seems our time of rest is coming to an end. What is going- You're right, dazzling ninja! They uh. are the warriors of this land! No! They're the evil spirits drawn to our sins! Uh? Lamentable. My ninja speed isn't fast enough to outrun cause and effect! And your ninja speed doesn't even get into my roster. Why you avoid me so? A ninja's blade can and must sever the chain of cause and effect! My brain run moves faster than whatever you speaketh. Your determination is admirable. Ninja Nishigagaku, you have already stepped into the ninja hero domain. My brain hurts. <gasps> Do you hear that? Evil spirit be reduced to ashes before our ninja itself! Oh god, it's happening. Huh? Are we going to fight? Don't tell me we're fighting. What are you waiting for, warriors? Fight us! <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> you, in the performing arts club, that woman next to you is in big trouble. Don't become an accomplice. Hey, let her cook! So this is the booth for the Performing Arts Club. Oh, come on! Just play along! The camera was rolling. So, is she a member of your club? No, I think she came from outside the campus. But look how in character she is! She's perfect! Wow. Shouldn't that arouse your suspicion? I don't know. My meeting with Ninja Nishia Gagaku was purely happenstance. But I did not come here alone. These nameless ninjas are also my companions. I know her. That's me. Uh, do you know her? I suppose. So she's a friend of the shareholders. That explains her behavior. Hey, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by Since that? You're a visitor, I'll let you off this once. Don't break school rules again. Ha! The tyrannical official retreated in the face of such extraordinary fighters. I cannot wait to know your real name, character. But <laughs> this is so funny. You! Put on your school uniform, or it's a demerit. Huh? <laughs> the individual who claims to be a ninja initi initiate Gaku. Baseball bat ninja. It Damn is you. good to see you again. This must be a fated reunion. It is a pleasure to meet both of you as well, nameless ninjas. I am Rappa, aka the Dazzling Ninja. Nameless ninjas? Are you talking about the nameless? Well, we have names, you know. I'm Mark Seventh, and he's Don Hung. It's better for you to not try to get make her remember your names, because she will name them for you. What strong names! Greetings, Ninja Ruri and Ninja Hiryu. 
See what I mean? Uh, um, my name is Don Hung. Don Hung, you better let this go. Understood, Ninja Hear You Aoi Don Hung. <laughs> um, she's taking this really seriously. <laughs> is this what people call Chunibyo? Chunibyo. <laughs> Maybe she's been there. Fudge me, a galaxy ranger! Strange things happen across the cosmos. <laughs> Maybe a ninja two planet does exist. I don't know about that. Is she the ninja you saw in your dream? Indeed. Baseball bat ninja and I are comrades who will risk life and limb for one another. We were besieged in the feeling Fantasia and survived together. Um, it's not nice to eavesdrop on conversations. A ninja's super hearing can capture even the death of a proton. You spoke loudly before me. I wasn't eavesdropping. You claim to be our companion? So, it's only reasonable to ask that you state your identity and purpose. I don't think we're ever going to get her identity at all. Of course. That is exactly why I'm here. But before that, there is still justice to be upheld. I must prioritize assisting that cause. Oh, stupid student council! This is discrimination! What does she make you rare? Well, guys, I'll be right. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna talk to her now. <gasps> You're still here! Thank goodness! Gigaku Ninja Initiate. Wait! Huh? Ninja Initiate Gigaku! What ails you? Stop calling me by the name of my character. Use my stage name, Nana Bloom John. So she's Nana Bloom. Another one from the group Correct. chat. My nickname in the group chat is Nana Bloom John. Hardworking edition. Wow, hardworking edition trademark. So she's. So this is real her, huh? You no, know, I just realized how high caliber our new students are this year. Please, you absolutely must take part in the Performing Arts Club's Paperfold University Superstar Project Photography Challenge! God, even I wouldn't say that uh, 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 with a full... with uh, 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 that. It's a mouthful. Uh, that's... a really long name. This challenge requires you to take on the role of celebrity models. You'll choose a photographer who will take a photo that meets our requirements. We'll then print it into a photo book and send it to you. That sounds great! Let's take some photos together. I cannot wait to take more photos. If it is a trial prepared by Ninja Nishigigaku, I see no reason to refuse. Great! Now choose a photographer among yourselves. This challenge will put the photographer's skills to the test more than the models. Let's see. I'll do it. The photographer March 7th, you're up. The ever reliable Dong Hung. Photographer Ninja Rappa, you're up. I think. March 7th is the best photographer, to be honest. Uh, what? Um, uh, uh, can't you do it? Please, <laughs> I really want my own photo shoot. I'm begging you. Oh, don't make me do it. Okay, fine. Then you're in charge of photography. Good luck. Yeah. As for our prop, <gasps> let's use the Slumber Nana Monkey toy. What is with the Slumber Nanas? All right, Monkeys. make sure you get all the models and the Slumber Nana Monkey in the shot. Eh? So I'm gonna get every. You're kidding. All right. Wait. No, I was gonna go zoom in. Wow, perfect! <laughs> I'm going to display these photos at the booth. Baseball bat ninja, your photo ninjutsu is exquisite. I know. I'm that awesome. Uh, I envy how photogenic you all are. I want to be one of the stars featured in the Scorch Sand Audition, too. Mayhaps, would you like my autograph? Forget it. Let's not talk about such depressing topics in the middle of festivities. Huh? Here's your photo book. Have fun! Wow. <sighs> no one will bother us anymore. Tell me, why have you been following us all this time? Hmm, who knows? Very astute. It appears you have ninja super hearing, too. However, following you was a mere coincidence. My purpose for coming here is to set up dazzling ninja seals across the campus in order to dispel the evil ninja's matrix. Uh, seals? Oh, the graffiti the student from the disciplinary committee was talking about. Cause and effect is a wondrous thing. It allowed me to reunite with you, the nameless ninjas. 
Ninja Hiryu may not recognize me, but he must remember my colleague. A ninja hero clad in silver armor. He has a bold, easy confidence, is proficient in the use of bullet ninjutsu, and frequently spouts sweet and melodious words. B -b -b bullet ninjutsu. Silver clad. Armor. Booty Hill? I mean, Booty Hill? Silver Gun Shura! Silver who now? Shura, huh? I think I know who that is. <laughs> is it. Boot Hill? He knows it too. Precisely. <laughs> My brain's gonna rot just from hearing her. I love Does it. Does that mean you're also a Galaxy Ranger? I did mention it in the previous conversation. Of course. I didn't want to cause a misunderstanding, so I emphasize the title Ninja Hero. Uh, they both mean the same thing? Well, to her. So we now know who checked into the hotel. Uh, but why are the Galaxy Rangers revisiting the dreamscape? Ninja Hero, you and your companions are all elite ninjas who follow the true teachings of Trailblaze. You should know in the Cosmic Ninja Realm, there are many extraordinary individuals like me, but also evil ninjas. So long as the evil ninja still lives, danger that requires the presence of us ninja heroes will never cease. The reason I visit Penicani is to hunt down one such scoundrel. Hang on a second, you still calling it Penicani? You're calling it Penicani. He wreaks havoc across the universe with his fiendlings in tow. He is the enemy of the ninja capital and my arch enemy, evil ninja Osaru. Uh huh. Do you know what she's talking about? You're asking me. I don't know. She's playing ninja games. A historical account of the ninja realm logged in the ninja scroll. Forget I asked. <laughs> I love how stupid my answers are. <sighs> this is troubling. If she really is a ranger, we have to take her story seriously. Perhaps something has happened in Penacone. In her own way, should we take action? The situation isn't clear. We shouldn't act rashly. After all, we're currently here as guest students. It would help if we could get in touch with Boot Hill. I wonder where he is. Sure enough, when I came to, my mind was whispering. Hatred is the frailty of the weak. And that's when it hit me. I've got a mind that's still alive. But... You ask me, my muddle fudging brain ain't the boss of me. <laughs> How'd I end up here? Dude, you're such a cool shot. Huh? Hey, Don Han says, are you in Pentagoni now? Found my note at the front desk. Well, I ran into someone calling herself a Galaxy Ranger, so I want to check her identity with you. Dang, Nabbit, finally got the signal back. This place is a total dump. You guys met rapper already? No, your message failed to send. Dude. Fork in hell. Damn it. I guess internet service sucks here. Pardon me for asking, but this is your seventh drink, and you've only had a sip from each. Is there something the matter with them? No, it ain't like that. These uh, little sweet drinks taste pretty good. Ordering a bunch is just a habit. A mine. No need to worry, lady. You'll know soon enough. I'm heading out to take care of some business. Uh, uh, keep these safe for me. Hmm. I get I'm supposed to be helping Rappa, but I don't see anything strange going on here. But we'll find out soon. Well, y'all, I'm gonna call this a day and a night, I believe. So. It's been an interesting type of one playthrough, a well, fun first part here. You know, from going back to Pentecone, receiving an actual invitation to go to college or classes maybe, to see a new area of the entire dreamscape. And then the monkey brain rot starting and 
I'm gonna guess in this whole thing will go, will go bananas as we go deeper inside the ripe banana peel. Why am I referencing everything in monkey knees and banana knees or whatever the hell? Making banana jokes, whatever. It's gonna affect my train of thought right here for the rest of the week. So, yeah. And I guess the next video we're gonna be playing as Boo Hill and his uh, um, investigation here in the Dreamscape, uh, Dream Flux Reef, I believe we are in it. So, I want to say thank you all for watching this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give this video a like, dislike, and pray for me to pull for Rappa, because I know most of my luck has already been pulled out somewhere else. And yeah, I'm, I'm actually glad that I got to play this story here. It's going to take a few days for me to try to complete this, because I know for sure that it's going to take a few hours to try to complete it. So, I will try to separate these into half-hour parts and all that stuff. And I'll try to show you how much pulls I pulled. Me pulling forever, this was my sixth one. Or my fifth one. So, that's unfortunate. My luck is bad enough this month. So, yeah. So, stay tuned for more Hawkeye Star Rail, more Genshin, more Zenless Stone Zero, and maybe even more other games that I have already gotten. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this story. And as always, thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys in the new video. So peace out, and have an awesome weekend.